Hey, you doing, fellas? This is Frankie Day on YouTube. Okay, guys, uh, while the final reveal of my 86 Sky Raider is uploading, it's time for me to make another video right now. So, we'll get this out of the way. Okay, guys, I got something simple this time. And it's a little different. It's a World War I biplane. I think you guys seen it before. Probably uh, around last year sometime when I first bought it. It's a reboxing of the uh, 1958 uh, Sopwith Camel in 128 scale. It's a big one. And uh, I think Ravel Germany uh, 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 produced this kit, reboxed re this kit under the old Ravel name. And um, so I figured, what the hell, I got a little, I'm getting on it. The, 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 the urge for a biplane. So without further ado, I want to go over and take a look at this. And uh, we'll go through the parts and everything and the instructions. And we'll take the vid take the camera, swing around to yours truly, and finish up the video. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, fellas, right here. This is my uh, 128 scale sup with F1 camel. It's the same old reveal kit that has been around for many, many, many years. And somehow it's been uh, reboxed by Ravel Germany. And uh, same old kit, just different paints, different decals and paint schedule. So right here, this aircraft right here, I think it's a Navy job. It's, uh, they, they use it, and also in the Royal Navy, they use this uh, soft with camel. It's painted in khaki and blue with white stripes on it. You can see indicated in the box. This is a very simple build, fellas. I haven't built one of these in uh, many, many years. And uh, for my, if my mind's memory serves me right, it's it, it's a very simple kit to build, and it's a very good kit to build. It's very easy, and it has no problems of, of building it. So right here is the box that comes out of. Uh, it lists for $19.95, $20 kit. But I got down Don Smitty's for uh, $12. Let me have it for $12, so I'm pretty happy about that. So this kit here, uh, it's called one more for the stash pile. This was on the uh, on the video last year that I done. Okay, guys, we'll move this box out of the way and we'll bring the kit. Oh, okay. Right here are the instructions. T tip again, typical Ravel instructions. Open it up, do's and don'ts, tells you this, tells you that, icons, tells you color call outs, all these little junk stuff we got in here. Of course, we're too educated to don't have to worry about reading this stuff, fellas. This is more or less for the novice only at heart. So we all ain't novices here, so we've been around the corner quite a few times, so we don't have to worry about none of this stuff. We pretty much know where everything goes. Okay, guys, and this page here. has all the color call outs right here has all the color call outs it tells you the colors to use and here's all the parts list of the kit right here let me get a little here Phil, so you'll be able to see it a little better guys okay this right here it consists all the parts of the kit good gravy it can be more than maybe 40 parts of this thing. Well, I was pretty much on about 40. There's uh, 43 parts that completes this. It comes with one standing figure only. Not like that of the 128 scale uh, Fokker D1 uh, triplane, which comes with uh, three figures. So I'm going to paint this guy real nicely. He'll look nice inside. Uh, the, the few starting up number one, they give you his rigging thread right here. This I've never seen before in a Ravel kit. It's a little roll of nylon thread that needs to be beeswaxed by using this stuff right here. I do my model ships. Use this as a cake of beeswax. You take your, th take your thread, run it through a couple times, stiffens up the, the thread. It tones down the fibers and keeps it together. 
and this is the rigging thread they give you. And they start out with the lengths of the thread that goes through the fuselage. So uh, this is optional. You can use wire, sprue, use this. But I'm thinking about using some fuse wire. Because something about this thread right here is not bad stuff. But that fuse wire works something more better. So I could probably save this for one of my ship models one of these days. I don't know. Maybe using this kit. When I get to it, I may use this. If I don't, I'll pitch it inside the thread box from a lot of ships that I've got going on. Okay, we'll put that on the side. Okay, right here on this page right here, this first step, all the way down to the sixth step, is a fuselage construction. You can see the nice scale lodge of rods that are stamped inside the fuselage has and represent the frame of the aircraft itself. And of course you got your wicker seat, you got your uh, your foot pedals, and you got your yoke for your ailerons and also your elevators. And you got your um, instrument panels, you got your throttle quadrants in here, you got your oil pump here, and and uh, of course this is your engine, your rotary engine they used that uh, that the camel used. It comes in uh, as you can see four parts here. And uh, what's optional right here on this step here, you either use the decals or you can go ahead and pan them yourself by using the color call outs. Okay, guys, on the next page here, once the fuselage is joined together and all the uh, interior is all done, you start with the firewall of the engine. You get your magneto, which passes through the governor ring to the firewall up to your engine cylinders. The engine will rotate. And here's your Lewis machine gun. There's two of them. It's pretty well detailed. And the thread that was that was uh, they they shows you you got to rig to the fuselage first before you close it up. It joins up to the stabilizer. But like I say, guys, that's fine and dandy right there. But if you if you go ahead and paint the model first and everything, and then add your your rigging line. But right there, that'll deter from your 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 painting because most of us paint this thing when it's all all together so that can be uh, that can be done by using a needle you could take a nice sewing needle right there fellas and stick it right through the fuselage right here to rig up your stabilizer that way it would be a good uh, aid for uh, rigging your your line if you, if you like to use this right here so I may go that method but anyways 15 steps to this page here you got your Lewis gun, you got your top of your housing up there to your Lewis guns. It fits onto your fuselage, you got your cowing fits on there, you got your stabilizers and everything, and your rudder. And also you got your control horns, your bell cranks, it goes up to your, your control lines. And this page is number 16, step 16, it's the joining of the bottom wing. Again, you got the bogey side, the, bo the bogey, uh, the bogey caveman interstrut system right there. We use a hideous seam right there. So the best thing to do, fellas, is is make sure this thing is very, very flush in here. If you make sure that you can you can, you can file using a sanding stick. Uh, Gary Brinker gave me a whole slew of these little small sanding sticks right here. So this right here will be good to sand the top of the, and bottom of the bogeys on the struts. So that's a good at age right there. Of course, when you join the top wing, they, they suggest using tape or something on there so you keep it all glued together. So it's, it's optional however you want to join those wings. So there's exactly, precisely uh, 28 steps completes this model. On the last page, before you get to the color layout of the plan, you got your undercarriage. Got all your undercarriage right here. A little bit too close, fellas. You have, you have all your undercarriage here. Shows you how it's placed on the bottom of the fuselage. You got color callouts for your prop. If you want to make a nice, uh, a nice um, lam laminated prop, it can be done by maskings and also by using different tones of wood. And uh, of course, you got your rigging due on front of your undercarriage, and the rest of the rigging will follow. And last part of the construction is uh, one of the crew figures right here has all the color call outs 
which completes the model. The fund again, so I give you, uh, I believe they gave you two different uh, uh, color schedules on this. You could either um, paint it blue and khaki. This belongs to the uh, Southwood Camel Number 10 Squadron Royal Navy Air Services. Uh, Tilligan, France, March 1918. So this was used by the um, by the Royal Navy Air Services. This is the color scheme to use, which is on the box. Now, if you want to go back to an ordinary camel without all that masking and stuff and, and the beautiful stripes that goes on, this is a regular camel, Sopwith camel, uh, number 45 squadron, Royal Flying Corps, uh, Serena, Italy, early 1918. This is the color call out and also the but the, it's option number two for the paint schedule on this. So I may just go ahead and, uh, it's hard to say what I'll do, fellas. I may just go ahead and make it this color here, which is probably all khaki and uh, probably uh, cows either silver or red. Uh, it depends on how far I go, you know. But uh, it's going to be a very easy build. It's going to be a fast build. It's not going to be that hard to build. And I'll probably get started on it this evening after this here video gets loaded up. Okay guys, here are the decals right here. On the decals right here, they give you for the Royal Navy services right here. All these stripes and stuff go there. And all these decals here are, are optional on both on both squadrons. So if you're gonna delete this, you don't want to use none of this for the Royal Navy services. You just go ahead and use this for the Royal Air Corps right here. Here's his decals right here, which is already cut it out in dotted lines. So these these decals here on top are optional for both uh, options. Okay, we'll set those decals to the side. And this is the fun part, guys. In the baggie here, they give you. Uh, All the parts which is obtained to make this here kit is inside the baggie right here. And so this surplus. I always say these baggies put parts in the fellas. Because that's a very good tip to use because you want to, don't want to throw these away until after it's done. Because you got a lot of parts you want to finish that will leave them aside for them to get ruined or get busted or get lost or fall for you to step on it or the carpet monster gets it or the dog chews on it, whatever. It's always a good tip to take the parts you've already done, stick it inside this little baggie here and put it inside your kit box. Then you know it's all there and you have to have no fears of it being lost. Okay, the wings are pretty good, fellas. I mean, this is a very, very... There's a lot of flash on this thing. This thing's a good flash pig. Well, you, you gotta look at this way, guys. Something's been around for 60 years. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna show its age, especially the tooling. So the flashing really ain't that bad, guys. A good sanding stick, you know, and we'll get rid of this. All that flash will come off. The bottom wing isn't too bad. Really, guys, it's not really, too, for, an old, for an old model like this, it's really not that darn bad when it comes to the flash. I mean, this is like as this thing is brand new almost. And, uh, here we go. Take all the stuff out of the baggie right here. Yeah, that bag is empty. Nothing's in there. Okay, the wings are there. And uh, right here, guys, is um, and this sprue here. You got your pilot figure and the base plate where he sits at. Undercarriage says your foot pedal, rudder pedals. I believe this part right here goes on top of your Lewis gun. And make sure you what it is, it's your sight for your Lewis guns. Got all your bell crank control horns, they fit in there. And then here's the comes with two parts the pilot does. This is his front section. His rear, his better half was over here somewhere. Oh boy. Here it is right here. There we go. That's his other half right there, which completes the uh, pilot. This sprue here consists of your undercarriage, cabin struts, interplane struts, your big NATO. And here's your fuselage right here, fellas. You can see those nice, nice little larger rods in there. You can see how large rods detail. 
and uh, that that really does make them all look good. It's about a good a good week build for me, guys. If if I was working again and stuff like that, it would probably take me two three weeks to finish this up. But this is about a good week week and a half. Take my time on it. And uh, the wicker seat is very very well detailed. The props. It's pretty sparse, so you, all the detail that you got to do yourself by using maskings. Your Lewis guns, your firewall, top cowling section where your Lewis guns pass through, and here's your rotary engine here. Stabilizers all in one piece. Your rut, your rudder is over here, right, right there. Yep, that's all in one piece. And uh, this is your. This is a pilot's four compartment where the pilot sits at. This is where your rudder, these are your tracks for your rudder when they turn this way. Lastly, well, that's about it, fellas. Like I say, not very, there's not very many parts in this here model. A lot of cleaning is be, will be done in preparation for assembly. So, all this is about all what you get right there. And um, this is going to be a fun build, and I'm going to get on this thing. Uh, I got so much to do here, fellas. I just, uh, I'm just having a good time. And um, I should have my 86 Sky Raider, the final reveal. I should have that. Uh, that's up being uploaded. That'll be on real soon for you guys to see. And that right there, fellas, completes the inbox review of the Ravel Sopwith F1 Camel in the scale of 128. Uh, they're still around. Uh, the only hobby shop that really that really uh, has things, or, you know, that really uh, stocks good stuff is the old Smitty's Hobby Shop. So anybody who comes to Dayton, Ohio. You go see Spinach Hobby Shop and see old Russ tell Frankie Day sent you. He'll give you one heck of a discount, guys. He'll take care of you. Okay, guys. Uh, that's about it right there. Of course, the back side. Here's the side panels here. It tells you the features of how it looks like when it's done. That blue does look a little pretty. I just might as well just paint that blue color. By George, I think I may just do that. It'll give it, make it look real nice. All that rigging on there. Yep. I got it all figured out now, guys. On the back side, there's other kits that they make. You can see the 132nd scale Junkers 88 they did. I've got that over there. Matter of fact, that's, that's uh, Panzer, Panzer Styrene. Styrene Panzer's uh, German Bar Group. I gotta, that's right over here. i got to get that thing finished up. So I think tomorrow I'm going to the hobby shop and load up and get some paint for that and get that prepared for painting, get that out of the way and hang it up or something. I don't want it laying around like I'm afraid it get broken. Okay guys, uh, that just completes the uh, inbox review and the kit what's next I'll be doing. And we'll see the camera out of yours truly and finish up the video. Okay, here I am. Okay guys, that's about does it uh, for video number two. So. So that's going to be the uh, the bill I'll be doing next. So I'll be getting started on this, get cracking on it, do a little bit here and there, and prime some parts, and get them all painted up, and get them together. So this is going to be a fast build. It's not going to take a whole freaking day that long to get this thing done. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, guys, time for you to get out of here right now. Uh, go check, see how much, how long I go until this thing, get this thing published on the final reveal. Okay, guys, time for you to get out of here again, and uh, this is Freaky Day signing off. Make God bless. Make Mama happy. Happy modeling. Please subscribe. Have fun, boys. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, we got another good month or so till all this winter jazz is over with, and pretty soon it's going to be sun shining all day and night. So, that'd be that. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. God bless you all. Thank you very much, fellas. Thank you, me out of here. We'll catch you guys later on. Bye, guys.